y'all what's going on for y'all that don't know for y'all that do know my name is ashley and i'm back with another video so as you can see from the title of this video we is talking about bridgerton well not bridgerton it's the prequel we talking about queen charlotte we talking about queen charlotte shoot hold on oh i need to make sure that it was, that it was actually recording because you know i'm getting i think i'm getting okay with the with the you know, with the video quality or whatever. So, you know, I got to use the back camera on my phone because I don't have a camera yet. But, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway. Um, um, damn. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Queen Charlotte. So, have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen Queen Charlotte? A Bridgerton story? Because if you haven't, I got some. Spoiler alerts, baby. I do, and I'm not finna apologize for it. Because it's been out for six days. So if you ain't seen it, that's on you. Now nah, I'm joking. It came out on a Thursday. Some people didn't get a chance to see it because they had stuff to do this weekend. But I don't care. Spoiler alerts, baby. Okay? Okay, so boom. Um, I love Bridgerton. I really, 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 really love Bridgerton. Um, season one and season two be on repeat in my crib. Um, so I was really excited about Queen Charlotte's story. Now, okay, so if you've seen the first two, the first two seasons of Bridgerton, then it is common knowledge that Queen Charlotte, her husband King George, has mental issues. That is that is common knowledge. If you have seen any of the Bridgerton, anything, any of the seasons, any of the episodes, that is common knowledge, right? Um, so I think it was really, really beautiful how they kind of went in on Queen Charlotte's story. Now, um, the if if you haven't, if you haven't, what am I trying to say? I'm getting confused. I'm, I'm trying to think if I want to if I want to talk about the, the actual plot of it or if I just want to leave you all to watch it yourself. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna get into how I like about it. I first of all, I think the casting was immaculate. I think the way that they casted these people was amazing. I could not have picked a better Queen Charlotte. A better young Charlotte. Because, baby, the mannerisms, the quick wit, the actual resemblance. Now, you can tell that they don't look alike. Like, if you stand them by, side by side, you like, well, I, you know, that ain't your, your daughter. Like, you can tell the differences, but... For the purposes of the show, they look close enough to be related that it passed. They that was amazing. The same for the same for George, actually. The and and I'm just I like people's facial features. So the old George and the young George, they both have that, they have a similar nose. Um, and you know, white people age different anyway. So sometimes they don't even look they sometimes you can't even tell that it's the same person so that was good enough um and then i think they did a great job with casting lady danbury as well um obviously she's a little bit darker but so what um but the her features were so her facial features were so defined that girl is beautiful and i don't know her name but she is gorgeous the young lady Danbury, she's gorgeous, okay? And sis was not playing no games when it came to them dudes. She like, mm, I don't know about this. I just can't be married again because this is actually jail. <laughs> like, this is actually a trap. Like, I think that life would be great with you. Um, but no, I think I think I've I've um paid my dues, so I'm good. I'm just gonna sit back with this title with these dollars i'ma find some dollars and that's gonna be that i can't be nobody wife again you want me to be a wife again please no but yeah so yeah 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 
I think the casting was immaculate. I think um, I think everyone did an amazing job. Um, and I feel like the writing of the story, I think that this was also based off a book. I think the author wrote a book. I don't know if it was specifically for this, obviously, but I think that this was also based off of a, of a book that she wrote. Because, you know, the Bridgerton series is not just some series that Shonda Rhimes came up with. It is based on um, an actual book series. And I, I, I do not know this for sure. Do not quote me. But I think that Queen Charlotte was also a book written by this author, obviously in relation to the Bridgerton series. Um, maybe so, maybe not. I don't know what... They did a great job and the story was told well. So let's get into, I guess, the actual story of it all. So Queen Charlotte, y'all know she's German. I didn't know that. Um, I guess that makes sense. Like her nephew, the, what was his name? Prince Friedrich. Prince Friedrich. He was the Prince of Prussia, which is German. So I feel like that was actually maybe her brother's son. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the specifics of the things, but she was German and I thought that that was interesting and now as far as this great experiment I do believe that that is fictional again I don't know I did not do no historical research on this I think it was um yeah it had to have been because they wasn't they wasn't messing with us like that very purely fictional um and I do believe Queen Charlotte obviously she is god damn what the fuck big ass truck Jesus I'm sorry, y'all, Lord have mercy. Anyway, um, for all intents and purposes, like in real life, Queen Charlotte was a white woman. She was not black. <laughs> she was not black. She was not, you know, brown. Um, I think in the series they said, you know, she had, she had more blood, more, M-O-O-R, more as in, you know, black people is what they called us back in the day they call us Morris um they said that she had more blood and what was her the dowager princess Augusta um George's mom she was like she's very brown you did not say she was this brown she's very brown um yeah she had a problem with that she was not feeling that at all <laughs> um um and then I keep losing my chat because I'm driving y'all. I'm sorry, but I just feel like I'm trying to say more than just that it was a really, really good series. Um, but the way that the way that it was written was was truly phenomenal because I love Queen Charlotte and King George's love. Because even though he knew all his marbles was not there and some of the marbles that he does have were cracked he loved her and in loving her said I have to do whatever I can to be worthy of this woman meaning this woman who has a mind this woman who reads this woman who is educated this woman who is who has wit I have to do whatever I can to get this madness away. Madness, mental illness. Um, so that she has a husband who can be her husband. She needs an actual man. She needs a partner. I can't do that if I'm gonna have crazy. Um ooh, ooh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um and I think while the effort he gets an A for effort. I feel, you know, back in the day that wasn't considered torture. Um, obviously because that was treatment. But no, don't don't do that. There are better ways to do that. And there they weren't then. There were no better ways to do it then. And um I did I didn't well, I looked up what it was that people presumed that King George had and I forget the name of it now because I didn't plan on doing this video now so I don't have it in front of me but it was something that started with a P like in real life King George actually was mad as they called it um and mind you this is the King George who was king during the Revolutionary War like this is that king 
in case y'all didn't know that that's that was him um but the 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 mental illness he had was something that started with a p and the reason that they knew what it was back then had to do with something with his p being blue um i don't remember what that is please go look that up tell me what it is in the comments because i don't remember and i'm sorry <laughs> um but yeah it was it was something that started with a p and it was um i think oh shoot i think what i read was that um some psychiatrists and other experts in um, mental health fields today would think that it was similar to a bipolar type of disorder and um he had bouts of acute mania i do remember that so all right if you're oh my god there's 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 traffic please please go please go please go please go i mean y'all are walking in it ain't nowhere to... come on now like there's cars i fucking yo these people are crazy why would you be walking in the middle of traffic when there's hella cars coming y'all are not even paying attention Like, don't be rude. I could have just kept, man, I'm so sick of these pedestrians out here. Y'all don't even know. But anyway, um, Jesus, they done got me all up in a bunch. Lord have mercy. I wasn't trying to be rude to them, but Lord. Anyway, um, yeah, they were, they were, they said that he had bouts of acute mania which obviously was shown when he would like run and like when he ran into the garden he was talking to the sky and you know doing all that stuff and scribbling on the walls and trying to get all the thoughts out because they were racing yeah that was the bouts of acute mania um so some people think it was similar to a bipolar um back then it was the, the diagnosis of the thing that starts with a p i don't know but yeah so i thought that that was really really interesting um because that was a real thing and I thought it was even more interesting that he really, like, he really tried to hide it from her because he didn't, because he didn't want her to know, but also because, like, it wasn't even because he wanted, he didn't want to seem weak. It, I feel like the, what I got from it was that he was more interested in her feeling like she has a secure man partner person to lead her kind of thing like he wanted her to feel secure that the husband that she has is one that is good for her that is worthy of her and um that's why he was trying to hide it from her in my opinion um and that brings me to reynolds which will bring me to brimsley um i i feel like reynolds was that was a real ass nigga. He was a real ride or die. He obviously was the king's footman. Footman? The king's man. Um, and he was dope. He he was there for whatever his king needed. And not just because that was his job, but because he actually cared about him. Like, on the low, they were actually friends. You know what I mean? Even though a friendship couldn't be like a thing they were actually friends and i like reynolds and i like reynolds and brimsley's relationship and i feel like they deserved better than how their story ended up that was heartbreaking i'm not here for it and i need to know um i think that reynolds died I hope that that is not the case, but I do think he died. Um, and seeing Brimsley dance by himself, the same dance that he would dance with his love, was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking. And I was like, oh my God, uh, what happened to Reynolds? Why is he dancing by himself? I, what happened to Reynolds? Why is Brimsley dancing by himself? It was so sad. And like... Brimsley, you know, is to the queen as Reynolds is to the king. 
and without the actual relationship of being able to be friends they were friends and so like um i don't know if you remember that part but there was a part in the um i don't know what episode it was maybe the fifth or the sixth where queen charlotte actually asked if brinsley had ever had a relationship or if he ever married or anything like that and she, and she asked Mind you, this is like 30 years later after they met. Like, well, have you ever done this? Do you even have a family? Lady, why don't you know that? Why don't you know that? And, um, you know, Brinsley said no, obviously. He would not have been able to because his love was a man. And being gay at that time was, that was, you could not be gay in public. Absolutely not. What you think this is? It's trash. So trash. Um, and I thought it was yucky <laughs> that she asked him and it had been like 30 years since she had met him and she didn't know. She really didn't know if he had ever had a, a wife or a family or, um, been married or anything like that. Like you're the queen. That is something that you would know if your main man, your right hand man would get married or not. Um, and she just, she didn't know. And I thought that that was really sad. Um, but yeah, as, so Brinsley and Reynolds loved Charlotte and King George, their love story, love. Um, I felt like Lady Whistledown in this series for whatever, she, she was rubbing me the wrong way. And I feel like she was like, she'd be berating the queen almost like she really be like throwing stones and penelope needs to get that shit together i don't i ain't read the books and i don't know if she ever get caught but penelope needs to cut that shit out before she gets beheaded god damn it she doing too much like i get you know saying scandalous things about the royal as a way to to you know do the like because it's a scandal sheet so you know you're trying to you're trying to rile up the folks so that they buy the next the next um output or whatever right and um Penelope, Penelope needs to cut that shit out because every time I turned around she was just saying something crazy about the queen and it's like I get it but now after learning her story and seeing her story chill out like she has her husband that she married is losing his mind. Like you try to live with a man, get married, get married off to a man who is losing his mind. Granted, they had true love, so they had, you know, Charlotte had fifteen babies, um, and thirteen made it to adulthood. You try to do that. Penelope just trying to get looked at still. Like, you are a hater and you need to chill out. You're a hater and you need to chill out. Stop it. You don't need to do that to Queen Charlotte. I ain't gonna say she ain't do nothing to nobody because her, her husband was colonizing shit. I ain't gonna say that. But, I mean, chill out a little bit, you know, from from this story. Jake. Um, what else did I want to touch on? Because this the series was so interesting. It was so interesting to me, and it was so good. Um, oh, I want to talk about the the crisis that the royal family ended up in. So, the heir when they were talking about the heir to the throne that passed away. So that was Queen Charlotte and King George's first son, um, who was George the Fourth. He had a daughter who was the heir. And then his daughter is the one who died um, in childbirth. So um, that was, you know, Queen Charlotte's grandchild and her great grandchild. That was the next heir to the throne. Um, and both passed away during childbirth. So Queen Charlotte was, was ruling with an iron fist among her kids during that time. And her oldest son had just lost his daughter and she was not sympathetic at the fuck all she was not sympathetic at all i thought that was crazy sorrows sorrows prayers 
that's like that's like you know when something happened it's like you know send prayers like don't do that like that that's that's that, that's the equivalent you know um i thought that was crazy that was crazy and so the the crisis with that was since she was the only uh, since George the Fourth's daughter was the only legitimate legitimate heir to the throne because her sons I think she said they had a she's what did she say she said the daughters have had no babies and the oh the princesses have had no babies and the princes have had a record number of illegitimate babies whore babies she called them babies whore babies they legit had like 50 50 kids between all of them illegitimate children like not married not not married to high-ranking people not married just out of wedlock just bastard babies um and then later in the series they learn that a lot of the princesses they had hella miscarriages or the ones who couldn't get pregnant or couldn't, you know, some of them weren't married. Some of them were out of childbearing ages. Some of them um, were constantly having miscarriages. And then we learned that her fourth son, Prince Edmund, married a Princess Victoria, excuse me, and she was pregnant, excuse me, that baby is Queen Victoria. If you are not familiar with Queen Victoria, I am not all the way because I don't really care about the royals that much. Um, but Queen Victoria was, I think, the longest reigning monarch. I think she was the longest reigning monarch, if I'm not mistaken, um, of the royal family. And, um, yeah, so that like you know you've heard of the Victorian age. That's that's Queen Victoria. <laughs> like that's her. Um yeah, so yeah, so I thought that I thought that was that was interesting because it played on you know history. Like that actually happened. The the, the royal family was at that act that was an actual crisis. Like, they actually were sh scrambling at one point to find an heir. And during that time um, of actually, you know, trying to, to get the heir to come through or whatever, um, I think three of the princes ended up being king before Victoria, before Queen Victoria became Queen Victoria. So I thought that was interesting, too. But, yeah, um... I don't know. I'm trying to think of what else I'm trying to get into with this, with, with Queen Charlotte. I thought that it was amazing. I thought that it was beautifully written. Oh, the sex scenes? Child. I mean, the adult scenes? It's an even day. And they wasted no time. They were, oh, I hate him. Oh, I don't want to be with him. Oh, he drives me nuts. Okay. Go get him then. It's an even day. And then, like, like that one scene, y'all, spoiler alerts, I don't even care. That one scene when they were in the dining room, and and it's an even day. And they just started doing it on the, like, they were, like, they were getting ready to do it on the table. And all of the guards and footmen were still in there. And they were looking, and they were like, <gasps> and everybody, like, everybody's eyes got wide, and they were looking around. And so Brimsley, <laughs> Brimsley and Reynolds was like, Okay, y'all gotta go. Y'all gotta go. We gotta go. Um, because they was they was doing it. Child, I thought that was crazy. I thought it was crazy. I thought it was great. It was very entertaining. It was very real life because sometimes you just it just it go overcomes you, you know. And then it was their honeymoon, and you know they learned all the things. Uh, well, yeah, they learned all the things about each other, and then they were open with each other, and then. It was, um, it was good. It was a very delicate love story. It was, um, very realistic in a sense. Um, obviously fictional, but, um, some things were very realistic. And I just think that the relationship dynamics in this series were beautifully written and 
beautifully acted out. The the cast was amazing. Um Okay, one thing that I didn't like, didn't care about was Prince the Dowager Princess Augusta. She could kick rocks because you're just problematic AF and nobody wants to deal with you. Your son doesn't want to deal with you. His new wife doesn't want to deal with you. The, um, I don't know who they were, the representatives from parliament or whoever was in the council, them dudes didn't want to deal with her. She was just problematic and annoying as hell. So she, she made for a good story, but I would have been good with the love stories and that was it. But yeah. Everything but her, everything and everybody but her, I liked. It was really, really good. Oh, and Queen Charlotte's brother, he's fine. Yep, he's fine, for sure. Yep, but yeah. Um, that's pretty much my thoughts on it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I really want to hear what y'all, I really, really, really want to hear what y'all think about Queen Charlotte in the comments because it was such a good series and I think I'm going to watch it again. Um, but yeah, y'all be easy. Let me know so we can have some dialogue. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.